Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're solving a problem involving the volume of a sphere. So in this problem, we have the Earth, and inside the Earth is the core, right in the center, and the part outside the core is called the mantle. So before we start finding volumes, let's uh, make a simple equation. In order to get the volume of the mantle, we need to take the volume of the Earth, and subtract the volume of the core and that gives us the volume of the mantle. So if we can get the volume of the earth and the volume of the core we can find the volume of the mantle and that's just what we're going to do here. So the volume of the earth, we'll call it VE, that's going to be equal to 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed which is 6,000 cubed. So that's equal to 4 thirds pi. Now 6,000 cubed, 6 cubed is 216. 1,000 cubed is a billion, so we're going to have nine zeros. Now 216 divided by 3 is going to give me 72. 72 times 4 gives me 288 billion pi. So that's the volume of the Earth, and let's keep it like that for now. The volume of the core is equal to 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed, which is 3,000 cubed. Now 3 cubed is 27, 1,000 cubed is a billion, so that's going to be 27 billion. 27 divided by 3 gives us 9. 9 times 4 is 36, so we're going to have 36 billion pi is the volume of the core. So now we can do our subtraction here. So the volume of the mantle is going to be equal to the volume of the earth. Subtract the volume of the core, which is 288 billion pi subtract 36 billion pi that gives us 252 billion pi and our units were kilometers so this is going to be kilometers cubed cubic kilometers and the question asks us for uh, cubic meters. So in order to change to cubic meters, now if it was just meters we'd multiply by a thousand, but since it's cubic meters we have to multiply by a thousand cubed. That means we're going to have nine more zeros. So let's work this, uh, let's first work this out. Uh, let's multiply by pi and work that out first. So we're going to have 252 times pi, 252 times pi gives us 791.7, uh, 791.7, then we have uh, oh, it went out. This is going to be 791, and we have nine more decimal places to go, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is in kilometers cubed. Let's change it to scientific notation. We're going to have to do that eventually anyway. So that's 7.9 times 10 to the power of 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. That's cubic kilometers. And again, we're going to be changing to meter, cubic meters. So we have to multiply by 1,000 cubed, which is nine more zeros. So the cool thing about scientific notation, if you want to add nine more zeros, you just add nine to this power of 10. So we get 10 to the power of 20. So your final answer, the volume of the mantle of the Earth is about 7.9 times 10 to the power of 20 cubic meters. And that's your final answer.